Hello everyone, this is Nirmal from Mindfire Solutions India. You can follow me in Twitter. We can get connected in Facebook and LinkedIn as well. These are uh, the blogs I usually share my contents. Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate the uh, settings fly. How we can uh, call the settings fly from a Windows Store app. In order to do that, I'm going to uh, open the Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new project. Let's choose the blank template. Let's name it as a setting fly demo. Okay. So first of all, we'll see how we can call the system setting fly. So uh, let's to do that. Let's add a button at least. So on click of that button, we will uh, call the system setting and we'll display it as a fly out. Let's say ptn settings so my system settings okay and now we move to js part here we say let's write this on app on ready function the edges the arguments oh, sorry. okay now the next part is to handle i mean get this button from the dom element server document dot get element by id okay so we'll add a click event to the same add event handle listener and we'll say add the click event listener to the same and write a inline function okay here we need to uh, call the system setting so we'll simply say winjs dot ui dot settings flyout dot so this should show the system setting flyout let's run it here we have the button now see we have the system setting flyout being appeared we can also make our custom flyout the setting flyout to appear here let's do that let us add a div here of course the flyout should be a div let's add a div the additional thing we are going to do is name it as a id div settings and here we need to declare it as a data win control of type winjs dot ui dot settings flyout now we can add some content here to add a content we need to use class win content let's add our span this is my custom settings okay so to show this custom setting let's add a button let's name, name it as button custom settings we'll say show my settings okay so let's get this from the dom element we'll do almost the same task will add the click event here only the id will be changed let's get this id here okay okay let's put it there okay so instead of this default one we need to get the div let's get the div from here it's the div id let's get the div id we'll say same here we need to get this from the dumb element here we need to declare it as a win control okay so it so let's see what the result is okay here we go 
we can see the custom settings plan we can have options to make it widen make it larger make it smaller even we can add events as well we can add events uh, before showing uh, we have four kind of events actually one is before hide before show after hide and after show we can add events to handle uh, the flyout um, like what should be accomplished before hiding or before showing or after hiding or after showing this all events get fired so this is what all about for the champs uh, this uh, settings play this, this is the way we can show the system settings uh, and we can show our custom settings fly out and in the app hope you have enjoyed thanks a lot